This is a Proform 12.0 TT treadmill, and it has a broken display console. That means the incline and the speed buttons and nothing else works. But let's get to work testing it. First, I test DC voltage. That way I know the wiring going up to the console works. Then I test AC voltage. Let's plug it in and get some quick readings. We should read 120 volts when I power on the switch. Perfect, check that out. Now I get to work splicing some AC wire. I need a hot leg and I need to tap into the current power switch. The feed goes to the MC2100 control board, so I need to resupply power to that. Make sure you test it. A solid red light means it's functioning but not receiving a speed signal. Here I am testing the new run for the incline power switch, which shows 120 volts. In a working scenario, the display console will send a small voltage reading of 5 volts down the wire and tell the control board up or down, which then turns into AC power for the motor. Since I no longer have a working display console, I am going to tap into the AC power manually. So what I'm doing here is just simply testing that additional power run and making sure the incline motor itself does work before I proceed. I decided to reuse the AC wires coming off the control board. I left the neutral in place, I snipped the two hots red and black, and I bundled those together with electrical tape. And then I put some spade connectors on the remaining side, which feeds the incline relay and also the new on off on switch. I decided to add the new incline power switch right here next to the factory on off switch. We don't use incline function much, so we decided this was the best place to install it. Make sure you test it once you're done. Time to take apart the display console. I only need a few pieces here, mainly the handlebar and the 8-pin connector. Next, I had to install a kill switch in order to replace the magnetic kill switch I just removed. You gotta make sure the treadmill is safe, after all. So I drilled a hole in the handlebar and I screwed in the kill switch. I noticed I had to use a step drill in order to get those prongs through. And then I tapped into the red positive wire of the eight pin connector. With safety all squared away, let's move on to the PWM frequency meter. This is where the magic happens and the thing that actually controls the speed. With this in place, we're going to be able to send a speed signal down to the control board, which will spin the motor for us. Reinstall the console housing first, and then put the bar on top and tighten everything down. From the 8-pin connector, you'll only need four of the wires. One negative, one positive, another ground negative, and then blue for the speed wire. Out of the box, it comes at 100 hertz, but you'll need to set it to 20 hertz in order to match the MC2100 control board. Then you can hold down for five seconds in order to adjust the minimum and maximum percentages. Based on research and watching other YouTube videos, I set mine to 85%, which should match speed 12. Here I am doing a quick speed test of 37%. I upped it to 85% and then pulled the kill switch. and you can kill power instantly by pushing reset. But enough talking, let's put it back together and go for a walk. 